This is how you grow tiny, three-dimensional human organs in a lab. First, you freeze-dry a specially developed sponge for 18 hours. It acts like a skeleton. Cells from a human organ are put onto the sponge, which then sits inside this electronic chip. Then they're fed with nutrients. What you end up with, if you can get your head around this, is a human organ growing inside a sponge on an electronic chip. So this is a human gut and they put it on the chip so that they can see exactly what's going on inside. So the reason I really like this image is because it shows me evidence that the mucus that's being produced by the epithelial cells is on the lumen lining. This green here is the edge of the cell and we can see here the blue nucleus of the cell. This is really key, this red here, this red colour shows us the mucus. The new technique means they can watch, in real time, how cancer changes or kills our cells, and then observe how new drugs might fight the cancer off. I think the real potential for this is personalised medicine. Imagine I go into the hospital and I have a disease. I can take cells from my body, grow them in the lab in this beautiful three-dimensional environment that's mimicking my body. Then we can test drugs on my body without affecting me at all and develop the best possible therapy for me. They've made a gut. Next, they want to grow a brain so they can connect the two organs up. Now we know that there are certain diseases like Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, which are affected by bacteria in our gut. But how are they doing that? We don't know. And if we had this simple way to study that, it would really advance our understanding in that field tremendously. In theory, they could grow a whole body of organs. So the new technique could be used to find treatments for a range of human problems, from cancer to Crohn's disease to allergies, obesity, asthma or depression. And the more testing you do like this, the less you have to do on animals. Richard Westcott, BBC News, Cambridge.